Hey, everybody, welcome back. This is the appetizer portion of Matrix Mash number 38. Robert Phoenix is here with a mystery cat named Max. Good evening, Robert. How are you doing? Great, Emily. Great to be back again. No Jasper. We have Max tonight. Jasper. We have Max. Here's Max. Hi, Max. Oh, you're a handsome guy. You're a yeah. handsome dude. Max, Max, <laughs> Max is a senior citizen. Oh, and uh, he li he lives out. He's my porch buddy. Your porch buddy. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna do a quick appetizer portion here, and then uh, move over into the, the eat the main course in the restaurant that allows spicier food. So quickly, what's the best thing you've eaten since last time we chatted? You know, I picked up a steak down at the country market down the road here, and I know it's not grass fed and grass finished, but I picked up a steak. I it was a big steak. I cut it in three pieces. I've had I've had two steaks over the last three days off that steak, and it's been absolutely delicious. Delicious. What kind of steak is it? Um, it was uh, New York. I love New York. I have a New York. New York. Right? Yeah, New York. And um, let's see. One night. Let's see. Uh, one night ago, I had. Uh, what did I have last night? I don't even think I had steak last night. I'm not even sure what I had last night. Oh yeah, I know that. I had a one meal day yesterday and that was a steak and some eggs. So I had that earlier in the day. And then on the night before I had a steak and a baked sweet potato, which was really good. That is, we often have that for our meal. I really like the Japanese sweet potatoes. We had the Japanese sweet potatoes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Those are my favorite kind. I like to have that. Like we're, yeah. we've been eating a lot of squash still, but um, I do like the Japanese sweet potato. All right. I, just, so I haven't gone out. I haven't gone out to dinner a lot lately. Um, when was the last time I went out to dinner? I think it might have been. I think it might have been Thai food from Kerrville. It was actually pretty awesome. good. So we didn't weren't eating out for several weeks because we were on that cleanse. And then we ate out a bunch over the Thanksgiving weekend and we had some good meals. We, we steered ourselves into some disaster as well, but we ate at this really great restaurant called Kanja, right? It's a sort of a Latin, a Caribbean kind of place, right? That's new here in Austin. It was delicious. It was phenomenal. So that was our best. Um, so that was like our best meal over the Thanksgiving weekend. But just this past Sunday, we went for a late brunch at this restaurant called Daidoi. And I think I had the best cheeseburger I've ever had in my life. So I, I just recently bought a, uh, a gift card. Actually, I didn't buy the gift card. Somebody else bought a gift card from that restaurant to somebody that we know. Oh. So you, so was it, was it a good, good score? Daidoi? Yeah. Oh yeah. I, this like this cheeseburger was the like it was the best. So it's an interesting place. It's kind of like it's not really a they sell meat. Like it's not really a butcher shop, but like they make their own like salami and bologna and stuff like that. They make their own pickles and sauerkraut and kimchi. They bake their own bread. It's kind of like a French country market store restaurant. Right. Um, and this cheeseburger was phenomenal. Like they, you know, they, they make their own, they, they grind their own beef and it has a little bit of bacon in the ground beef. They bake their own buns. They make their own pickles. It was like the right proportion combination of like meat to, to, to cheese, to pickle and all of that kind of stuff. It was phenomenal. And then the fries came with a smoked beet ketchup. It was really good. We also had a pastrami sandwich and, and, and that was good, but the burger, the burger was phenomenal. And uh, we were too full to eat dessert, but the dessert sounded really good as well. And we saw somebody eating um, a sourdough pancake that looked incredible. I was like, oh, wow. come back and get that. Um, the only complaint for me is it's just a beer and wine place. And I like beer and wine, but I'm a cocktail girl. So for me, that's the only thing that makes it like, not like a 10, it makes it like an eight and a half or a nine for me. But mm -hmm. that fucking cheeseburger, I've had a lot of good burgers in my life. I'm telling you, Robert, this might be the one. Wow. Okay. Well, okay. I have a feeling it might be in my future. So yeah, it's going to be in your, it, it is a good one. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, head on over to the other restaurant. Link is down below and we'll meet you there for the main course. Ta-ta.